Are you serious? Are you serious? When are the when is the world going to believe me? Dead birds, dead birds, dead birds falling out of the sky simultaneously, massively in Mexico. The madness, the the misunderstandings, the the the, the Mexico. But listen, he the Bible said this was going to happen in the last days. And folks, believe me, for seven years I've been covering dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, dying all the world. They didn't start this phenomenon of unbelievable birds falling from the sky and fish washing up on the banks and dolphins and cattle falling over. It started at the midnight hour, just before midnight, to bring in the year 2011, when 5,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky in B.B. Arkansas. Well, it's happened again, Mexico. Um, here's uh, unbelievable. I can just share with you. Uh, the report says hundreds of birds normally fly in large swarms in the city of Mexico suddenly just fell from the sky. Just boom, 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 boom. And it's just unbelievable. Littering the road and the parking lots. And uh, officials have no idea what just happened. And... Um, they, their first official version was it was a mysterious disease. Uh, but how do you explain a virus that all of a sudden just kills a bunch of birds at one time? That won't work, guys. So then next you have to start talking about pollution, maybe chemtrails, possibly uh, some other type of mechanism, harp, maybe, or maybe biblical prophecy. Here's what it says in Hosea chapter 4. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. With the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Dead birds, dead fish, dead cows. Well, that's what Hosea said was going to happen. Now, he prophesied that 3,000 years ago, but it did not start happening in mass quantities until New Year's Eve, B.B. Arkansas, to bring in a brand new year of 2011 and for the past seven years and i've been covering it you guys know that and and i've been on i've been uh, doing this now eight years today it's our anniversary eight years ago today that we came on youtube and then branched out to facebook twitter google plus television radio and everywhere else that we tried to conferences and there's people going to meet me here in nashville tennessee uh tomorrow night friday night uh march 2nd just come to the Opryland Hotel. We're just going to be hanging out um, and having coffee and just, you know, this is spontaneous. We didn't rent a room. We didn't do nothing. Just show up. We'll be hanging out uh, where there's some coffee and chairs and and just fellowshipping and talking and, and sharing with one another. It ought to be a great time of fellowship. So I want to see you Friday night if you'd like to come here in Nashville, Tennessee, 6 p.m. Eastern. But you never know when the bird's going to fall out of the sky. The prophecy is there. That means all the sin. Okay, I'm not saying pollution doesn't cause mass animal deaths occasionally. I'm not saying harp can't. I'm not saying chemtrails isn't. But I'm telling you, this is way too many times. Way too many times. Um, and, and it's always in mass numbers uh, of certain kind of species. I mean, if it was pollution, wouldn't it kill everything in the air? Wouldn't it be cardinals and blue jays and everything else falling? Why is it always blackbirds or some other species sometimes? Don't miss today's live broadcast, 12 noon Eastern. We'll break this down. We're in the last days. 